Tupac, how close were you guys? We were really good friends. We were really good friends. Um, I didn't hang out with him much. He didn't hang out, but we were always welcome when we saw each other. He was always welcome to be with me. He always had me welcome to be with him. And um, we were just really good friends. I had got him to a, move, uh, a club one night. Um, I think it was one of Maddie Johnson's parties that when Magic and them left and everything, he wanted to come in and we got him in. And he got on the mic and started rocking on the mic. And he was with Digital Underground. He wasn't known yet. They said his name is Tupac. He's going to be a big star one day. Then his mother wrote me from prison and explained that Tupac was at the Indiana Black Expo and wanted to meet me. And that's the first day I met him. There's a rumor that you told Pac not to hang out with Hayes and Jack, but he didn't listen. Well, I told Pac, but I say, I don't know if you, I think you're out of your league right now. You know? Mm -hmm. He could, he had asked me about Jack, you know, and I had known Jack through Scooter. And I used to say, you're out of your league, you know? You hang with the big boys now. Yeah, he's out, you're out of your league. Mm. Pac went to prison for the same similar situations as yours. Well, it's really easy to be a guy, you know, a young guy like um, myself at that time in Pac. We're in our sexual prime. Well, I mean, we, what we do, I'm a fighter. When you see me, I have my shorts on, a mask, and you see Tupac, he had a short. So it's easy to say that these big over-sexualized bucks would do something like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Look, if you, if, you, um, if, you, if you have that belief in and that's when you understand all your life. That's if he's big and he, if he's big and he's black, he's a rapist. If he's a, if he's if he's smart, he's a tax cheat. And that's just how people, um, pretty pretty much categorize people, categorize. stereotype people. Right, right. You put you missing out. We're yeah. over sexualized. I'm an over sexualized buck. You see, like, you know, you look at me now, what, I'm 54, something like this? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm past my sexual prime. I don't have no trouble now, do I? <laughs> do I get in trouble anymore? You don't see nobody write anything about me no more, right, do you? Right, right. Things have changed. But when mm -hmm. I'm young out there and I'm strapped and I'm ready to go, I'm a menace. They'll watch my every move. Mm -hmm. Well, that's mm -hmm. the real. That's, that's interesting. You think about when you, all these guys died around 25. They, they died in their prime, 22, 24, 25. Parking all those guys. Mm. There's too much testosterone for these people to handle. He was young, yep. Yeah. Young killers, yeah.